The question that many have been asking for years, what's going to happen to the haiku stairs or the stairway to heaven? For now, the future remains unknown. But tensions in the neighborhood continue to rise. Some of the people who live in that area don't like having the hikers there. Kaneohe neighborhood board members were recently told by a police officer that a hiker was shot by a pellet gun following an altercation. We checked with HPD and found out someone was arrested, but the case has since been closed. Alexander Zane spoke with community members about the most recent incident and about the future of the stairs. Alexander. Now, Howard and Marissa, residents and hikers have been fighting over the future of the stairs for years. This most recent incident highlighting the need for an answer as to what the future will be. In the shadow of the haiku stairs, a run-in between a hiker and a local resident, ending with an arrest. My understanding is that on at least one occasion, uh, a hiker was, was shot with what I was told was an air rifle. According to police, someone was arrested for assault, but the victim has since withdrawn the complaint. Each month, residents express concerns about trespassing, something the neighborhood board chair is used to hearing. The frustrations of the residents would lead to something like this, where there'd be an altercation where somebody would ask somebody not to trespass on their property, and something like this might happen. Radke, along with Dr. Vernon Ansdell, who represents Friends of Haiku Stairs, support opening the stairs under a managed access plan, saying what's happening now isn't working. They're looking for some kind of relief, and they're looking for wherever they can get it. And the Board of Water Supply did a good thing by exchanging out the uh, security guard for a uniform. Officer. Radke says since the special duty police officers have started to patrol the area, trespassing has gone down, but a final solution is still needed. Ansdell, with Friends of Haiku Stairs, says he doesn't condone trespassing, but says the violence that followed this time was unnecessary. To be honest, when I first heard about it, I was just amazed. I mean, this is, this is ridiculous. This is incredibly irresponsible to be behaving like that. I mean, somebody could get badly injured or lose their eyesight with things like this. And we'll follow up to see uh, with HPD to see if more citations are being issued now that the special duty officers are patrolling the area. We'll also continue to track the progress of that environmental impact statement to see what the future of the haiku stairs will be. Alexander Zanes, KHON 2 News.